Hey there guys, Tim here with Ethos Car Care. Wanted to do a quick two month update, uh, roughly about two months since we did the graphene matrix coating on the hood of this Audi. Want to take you through a wash process and show you guys how it's holding up. It is a daily driven car, so it's, it's driven about 100 miles a day, sits outside 24 seven in California elements. Um, it's been over 90 degrees here for the past about a month or so. Um, has been washed once since then. This will be the second wash in about two months. I'll show you guys really kind of what we're looking at here. So let's get started. Uh, first, we're gonna make up a bucket of ceramic shampoo. Now this shampoo is designed to work with um, any ceramic coating or any other, you know, obviously this is a graphene coating. We designed it specifically to work with that as well. So it's gonna have conditioners, cleaners in it to help enhance the, the you know, water beating performance of it without adding any type of fillers or anything that can get in away with the true performance of the coating. So we got a couple ounces to the bucket here and show you guys kind of how everything's looking so far. You know, the car is pretty darn dirty. It's like I said, been sitting outside for uh, the last two months. It was washed about a month ago. Oh, those of you who have not used ceramic shampoo yet, you guys are missing out big time. Um, the suds, really decent suds. You know, it's not gonna be as foamy as our foam party. Uh, it smells awesome. Super, super slick. And it leaves a really, really nice um, shine behind. So it cleans well as well as adding a really nice shine. So let's take a look at the water beading here before we get started, just to give an idea. Rule of thumb with a pressure washer, every time you turn it on for the first time, spray away from the car. Sometimes if these tips are not on all the way, you basically have a little bullet <laughs> so um, so you see here's the first first rinse so you guys the water beating i guess this is about two months after application here uh, we applied one coat to give you guys kind of an idea of what you can expect off just one coat so as you can see and i'll show you just how dirty this was uh it definitely needed a wash this is actually uh, like I said, been almost a month, a little over a month since the last wash sitting outside. So definitely do for a really good cleaning. Uh, initial water beating, as you can see, it's doing its job. No surprises there. Uh, like I said, as long as you follow the instructions, you know, it's a very, very easy coating to use. It's, it's almost impossible to mess up. So follow the instructions we have, prep the surface properly, and you're gonna get water beating and, and long-term performance uh, for many, many years. That's foaming up. There's also ceramic shampoo and the foam cannon, about three ounces in here. All right guys, as you can see, uh, it's pretty warm out here today, so we're gonna have to work pretty quickly, but the coating is actually rejecting the soap. So it's, it's because this is the chemical, the coating sees it as a foreign contaminant, basically. It's gonna reject anything that you put on top of it. This is one reason why, you know, we get this question all the time. Can you put a wax, sealant, uh, ceramic coating on top of the graphene coating? And the answer is no, you can't. Simply because the coating is designed to repel any contaminants or anything on top of it. You can use our maintenance products like our Defy or our ceramic shampoo because those are designed to work with the coating. But don't use anything else on top of it because it's simply not going to stick, not going to bond. All right, so on any coated vehicle, what I like to do is do initial foam, uh, get the surface covered in the soap, give it a, you know 30 seconds to about a minute depending on how quickly it's drying to let the soap really do its thing. It's gonna basically, so this is one thing people don't realize how soap works. So soap basically is an emulsifier that takes your dirt particle and attaches it to the soap particle so that water can basically remove it from the surface. Because water on its own cannot take off contaminants as effectively as something with some degreasing or emulsifying abilities. So. It basically makes it so that those dirt molecules that are just stuck onto the finish attaches it to the soap molecule. And then that way when you do rinse off the soap, it takes off the dirt with it. So that's how any soap, whether it's from a hand cleaner to a car soap, essentially how it works in its natural function. So, all right, now it has been on there for 30 seconds or so. Let's do a rinse, we'll foam it again, and then we'll do actually a contact wash.
So you guys may be wondering, why is only the hood coated? Why isn't the rest of the car coated? Why aren't you washing the rest of the car? Uh, that's a good question, and it's kind of odd, right? Um, the reason being is that we're actually testing other products on this vehicle. So I want to show you guys some updates on those. Uh, the reason why we're always, you know, we're kind of always experimenting here. We're kind of mad scientists, so to speak, uh, because there, there is a mix of lab testing and real world testing that goes underway with every single product. You know, you can't really get away with just doing one. Uh, real world testing is gonna show some things that we can't replicate in the lab. Um, whereas lab testing is gonna do the same. It's gonna replicate things uh, you can't show in the real world. So, you know, if we were to apply our coating, that is you know, obviously now it's, it's for sale on the market that we've done our testing already on it. On the full vehicle here, we then obviously couldn't test other products. You know, we'd have uh, a base layer, as you see, that's gonna reject anything else we put on it. So then we can't get a true uh, read of the performance of new products we have in development. So, you know, that basically is the reason why it's not on the rest of the car. So, I gotta tell you guys, with the graphene matrix coating, washing with our ceramic shampoo, I mean, it feels unbelievable. It's so darn slick. Of course, you saw how easy it was to clean this had. Uh, what we have here in Southern California that's really difficult to remove, I, I've narrowed it down to be, it's bee pollen or bee poo basically. It's these little yellow specks that we get all over the car, especially during the springtime and summertime. And they're very, very difficult to remove. Those typically you have to actually agitate and scrub away. Um, chemicals don't ever remove them. So just showing you guys, this hood had a good amount of those covering the whole thing. And just by a very, very light hand wash, it removed it. It's showing that, the, I mean, obviously the graphene coating, it's gonna be really, really water repellent, but the other benefit of that repellency is the non-stick finish is that if you do get the contaminants on it, you know, bird droppings, bee pollen, uh, water spots, you know, because it's so rejecting anything that's on top of the surface, it's gonna make it really easy to remove those. So as you can see, after a wash, water repellency, water beating pops right back to where it was two months ago. Man, I don't know about you guys. You know, it's addicting. <laughs> you could sit here pretty much for an hour, you know, and obviously I don't want to waste too much water but uh, the hydrophobic. You know, honestly, any coating is gonna produce really good hydrophobics. Any ceramic coating um, that's on the market, even, even some spray coatings and everything else are gonna produce really good hydrophobics. I'd say what's the most impressive, impressive part about this product that we saw very early on in our testing with our graphene resins is that, you know, it obviously bed wa you know, beaded water really well, repelled water really well, but the fact that the sliding angle is so low that it sheets off those water beads, you know, as you can see here, you know, it, it sheets off those water beads better than any other ceramic coating we've tested. And that's the most exciting part is obviously, you know, water repellency, the average consumer is not gonna notice the difference between 110 degree and 112 degree water contact angle. Um, the consumer, the average person, when you are washing your car, you're gonna notice that the water, the soap, is gonna repel off the surface much, much easier, much, much quicker. You know, because the biggest thing that, that's kind of a pain in the butt for you know, ceramic coatings that are really hydrophobic, but the water tends to stick to the surface, is that you go to wash your car, you go to dry it, and you got you know, gallons of water stuck to your car. You, know, you gotta use a leaf blower or air pressure of some form to, to clean it off, because then it makes drying extremely difficult. So um, anyways, guys, just wanted to show you a quick wash on this. Show you how well it's how well it's holding up here after about two months. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do you know a dry on this, and we are testing another product right now. I can't show you guys just yet, but we are gonna be testing on this. Um, so I got a cut here uh, here in a second, but I want to show you guys how everything's holding up after two months, and we'll do some more updates for you guys in the very short term here to show you how everything's performing. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.